Now we are in the last stage before finishing our drawing and sending it to printing. So as we see, we add all dimensions and we had a look at the views on different views. If you want to use some special views to make some parts clearer to see or whatever. And also if you go to the annotation, you will have the surface finish word sample. And so on the R is to use just select what you want to add and select the surface for example this piston with surface you can add that simple and add the amount of surface finish or whatever so this types of sample you already studied in the engineering book and if you need to add them so you can just select and add there is nothing special in this just now we are going to show an important step before finishing your drawings you need to show the names of the parts the number of the parts in your drawing so this can be done by the bill of material you can reach the bill of material and annotation menu tables here you see bill of materials so so select the drawing and so we just do it again, select a view, then go to tables, build of materials. So you will get this menu, the build of material menu, you have the standard one, and parts only, top level only, and so on. At this moment, I'm going to use top level only, and then you will click OK. So now you will see the build of materials shown in your drawing. So here you can place it in a good place. So you can see the names of the parts engaged in this drawing. And here, if you click here, you will have the ability to change the number, positioning, and so on. Let's change the size of the text. So here you have your bit of material. So also you can show it on the parts level. Click OK. But in this case we don't have sub assemblies, so you'll get the same type of material. But now we have an issue that we see our bill of material where we don't know where are the parts for example who are not familiar with pistons will not know where is the piston head piston pin so here comes the use of balloons so you have balloons you are able to add balloons one by one so for example this is number one this is the piston head automatically it is marked so here you have here number one and if you select this one you will get number three which is piston rod and here you can see number four which is the piston rod cab and then you have here number two the piston pin so we can also if you have a lot of parts and you don't want to do it one by one you just cancel these balloons click on that and delete it you have auto balloons so solid is going to generate the balloons automatically to your parts so you select then go to auto balloons so now click ok you will see the balloons here inserted automatically so here you have number three but still you are missing number two then you need to add it by yourself because it's not shown in this part we're going to have it here so when you are done click ok so now our drawing is almost ready to be printed because it's include all the dimensions balloons parts bill of materials the 
title block and so on so i hope this set of tutorial was useful and you are ready to create your own drawings